Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the market for loanable funds. In this video we will look at the market for loanable funds and show that this uh, is the interaction of borrowers and savers in the economy. So technically speaking it is where savers go to deposit their savings and borrowers go to get their loans and the interest rate is going to bring the supply and demand of these loanable funds together. So what we look at is from a macroeconomic perspective what is the total supply of uh, funds onto the market? We have a private savings, private supply, which comes from income minus taxes minus consumption. So this would be what's left over on the private side. And on the public side, we have taxes minus government spending. So if governments don't spend all their taxes, they'll have a surplus and this surplus can be saved. So this, both of these constitute the supply of loanable funds onto the market. Market. The demand for loanable funds can come from things such as, for example, investment, and the demand could come from borrower demand for funds, for example, business firm demand for investment firms for capital. So if a firm comes in and needs to extend the size of it or invest in new capital, that would constitute demand. So here we're going to look at a formal diagram analysis of the market for loanable funds. On the y-axis, we are going to have the interest rate and down on the x-axis we will have the quantity of loanable funds. We will look at a supply curve for funds and what this shows is that as the interest rate increases the quantity of loanable funds available for supply increases as well so a positive relationship. However on the demand side it's a negative relationship so as that interest rate goes up the demand for loanable funds decreases. You can't invest uh, for some profitable uh, projects in that case. So the demand is negatively sloped in terms of loanable funds. Where demand is equal to supply, we have an equilibrium in the market, and this is the going interest rate that equates the supply of loanable funds to the demand for loanable funds. We call this R, and the quantity at that point is termed Q, the quantity of loanable funds. This interest rate will adjust to balance off the demand in the market for loanable funds with the supply of loanable funds. So this is a model of interest rates and how that balances off the loanable funds market. We can also look however at what happens for example if there's an investment incentive in the economy, a tax reduction for firms to invest. In this case, the demand curve will shift to the right and that would increase the interest rate on the market and increase the quantity of loanable funds. However, if we had a savings invent, uh, incentive, a tax reduction on savings, what we would see is a rightward shift of the supply curve, S1, and we would see that the interest rate would decrease to bring back savings and demand into balance in that case. So this model then can be used to predict the impact on the interest rate for changes in saving or in the demand for loans. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.